Hi, are you anything like I am, where I'm the kind of person that's quite happy to help out on a dive site, to stalk it, to pack kit, to collect rubbish, to lend people things when they've forgotten them, or help them fix things if it's broken? Well, if you are, you might want to watch this video where I discuss about being the Good Samaritan and the paradox that goes with that. Hi, I'm Andy Northern Diver and welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about the Good Samaritan Paradox. If this is your first time here then, please consider hitting the subscribe button below. That way it makes it really easy for you to find all of our other content that we've put out. At the side of that, you see this little bell icon. Click in that, I'll give you a notification every time we post a new video. But if you haven't got a YouTube account, you'll struggle doing that. So what I've done is I've posted a link just up here to a video that I made, it'll take you two minutes just to set up your own account. That way you can like, comment and subscribe to any videos or channels or whatever you see on YouTube that you might like. Just make sure you do mine. So the reason I'm talking about this today is because I found myself in a situation that I couldn't control and I think it's worth discussing to perhaps get an objective view, people's viewpoints and have a, you know, quite a healthy debate and discussion about this scenario because I think it's something that may rear its head for many another diver on another dive site at any given time. So. I'll give you a couple of scenarios and then we'll just see where it goes at the end. So scenario number one, I've gone to a friend of mine and borrowed a couple of cylinders from him. As far as I'm concerned, if you borrow stuff, that's like hiring anything. So for me, if I borrow my mate's cylinders, I should at least give them back in exactly the same or better condition than how I received it. So certainly if I get a full cylinder, he should be getting a full cylinder back. Perhaps because he's a mate of mine and he's, he's done me the the service of lending me them, if he gave them to me empty, I would probably think about returning them full. That way he gets the benefit of, of me getting a benefit from him. Scenario number two, you're diving from a rib and you're being recovered because you're at the end of the dive, you're on the surface, boat comes over and he signals for you which side they want to get you loaded on. So first things first, if you can, you normally take off your weight belt or your weight pouches and you pass them up. And for whatever reason, one of your lead pouches or when your lead weights falls off that belt who's to blame but if you've passed them to someone else is it that other person's fault for taking as soon as they've took them they're helping you out the water what happens if you're then passing up your fins and someone drops one There's, there was no damage to the fins they were incorrectly stowed you're passing them up but the, unfortunately a big wave comes along and, and rocks the boat and that person drops them and it goes in the water who's to blame who gets the bill it's hard to say in it so scenario number three you're back at the dock at the dive center and you've all formed this sort of chain, a, a line along to, to sort of pass kit up and, and get it put away easier. So someone's in the boat passing up a cylinder to the next person and as they do it, they're passing it up and a torch falls out one of the pockets and falls into the water. For whatever reason, that torch can't be found. Who's to blame for that? Is it the person passing it up? Is it the person that decided you're all gonna stand in a line and pass kit to get it out easier and safer and whatnot? Or is it your fault because you haven't clipped it up properly and it's got lost? Is it, you know, the dive center, you know, it's their boat, it's their dock, but have they said that you should do that? Have they admitted liability or taken responsibility for everything that goes on within there? Are you gonna get a new torch from them or, or the person that, that sort of was passing the kit up or failed to get hold of the kit? It's hard to say, isn't it? So I welcome, any sort of topical debate to talk about this situation because it's it's one that's quite close to me, a situation I found myself in for trying to help somebody out and mine and their actions caused damage to some dive kit that wasn't insured. The, the cost was quite considerable. You know, let's keep it friendly and healthy and topical. I just want to leave you with two sort of thoughts to go with that is it's always worth sort of bearing in mind that somebody's intention yeah is not how you always perceive it and secondly that there's always two sides to every story so just bear that in mind if you ever see someone sort of making a big deal out of a of, of an issue that's happened that perhaps it's not the exact way things panned out and it's worth just bearing that in mind and thinking i wonder what what actually happened i wonder what the other person's side of that story is so with all that put together, if you have got any comments, please put them in the, the box below and let's have a nice healthy debate. If this has been some interest to you, if it's opened up 
a can of worms for you please give us a thumbs up if it doesn't and you think it's a load of tripe please hit the thumbs down hit it twice for us and hopefully i'll see you on the next one thanks for watching see you later see you on insta